Sunday walk, riding bikes with the kids. Babe is up front and the kids are all the way up there. There's a big dog, so I need to grab Penny. Penny, hold on, wait a minute. Penny. Hi friends, we enjoyed our walk. Um, I'm about to, this is a salad we had. We ate some earlier when we had our shrimp. Oh, we just have some rice, salad, and then here's the chicken. Because I already knew if I went shopping today, mm, this, I was not cooking. Basically, if you guys have not watched the previous vlog on Sunday, this is today is Sunday. And I went to Costco's and I did like my big shop. And I actually got a little chicken. But um, yeah, I'm about to wash Penny. So Penny's about to get in the bath. We got to sweep. It's so dirty. Penny going to get in the bath? <gasps> Penny want to get in the bath, mama? Mom. Hmm? Can we have Can't get washed up. You can't get washed up, boo-boo. You getting all clean? <laughs> She's like, so good. She's so good. Let's get in here. Stinky. Get a little stinky. Get a little stinky, mama. Good morning, guys. Of course, it's time to go to work. A quick little outfit of the day, shall we? All right, so here's my little outfit. This is like, it's still a little dark outside because y'all know it's early in the dark morning. But um, just this purple and I have these little purple earrings on. I'm sure you guys saw this little sweater, sweatshirt. Anyway, it's time to go to work. See you guys. Y'all, I'm so late. <laughs> I just made it to the garage and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm going to be so late today. Y'all know I'm supposed to get up at five in the morning because I got to be out the house early. Who? I did not make it getting up at five. Instead, I got up at six. <laughs> Only had like 30 minutes to get ready. <laughs> Still had to get the kids together. The kids have a spring dance on Friday. Super excited. Um, if you guys remember last year, remember the kids had a they spring dance. Well, this year they have spring dance, and I'm so happy. So y'all know our anniversary is coming. I don't know what we're gonna do. I haven't even planned nothing because I told you guys I've been focused on just trying to book the other trips, and then our Disney trip is coming. And y'all know Disney is a whole child, and I don't know nothing about Disney, y'all. Who's this on here? I don't even know what that is, but, um, yeah, hold on, y'all. So I need my backup camera to back all the way out the garage, because Samaya, her car stays in the driveway, because <clears throat> my mom, my car, my husband's car, we have a three-car garage, so that stays inside the house, but Samaya's car stays out here, <coughs> and it's always so hard for me to, like, maneuver around her car in the morning, so hold on one second, because I have you guys, like, where my camera is okay my bad okay so what was i saying um but yeah i'm excited about disney oh i was talking about anniversary so i don't know what we're gonna do for our anniversary but but i'm cool with just going out to eat it's okay like it's fine it's, it'll be 11 years remember last year we went to the four season hotel definitely was a vibe that was nice um but honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because the kids are at my house. I mean, they could go to my mom's house. I could send them to my mom's house. And I don't know what to do. We shall see. But then again, I don't know what my husband has planned for us either. So. But I'll see you guys when I get off of work. It's all this traffic. Now I'm going to run into really like a lot of traffic. I get my hair done Saturday. I'm supposed to be going to the flower show this weekend. I got to call my girlfriend and see. 
Oh, come on, people. Because I'm supposed to be getting my hair in like a bob a cap or whatever. So that's going to be cute. Because I'm done. I'm so over this wearing my natural hair. I'm over it. Like, it's, I feel like my hair is thinning out. The older I'm getting, I feel like my hair is thinning out. I used to have like, well, I never had like a head full of hair like my highlight. My hair was always long, but it wasn't as thick and full as my highlight hair. My sister got thick and full hair too. But me, this stuff is just thinning out. Look, y'all see? My hair is just thinning out. Like, where, where, where's the rest of the hair? <laughs> but, whatever. It is what it is. I don't care. So, um, I think I want to... Just give my hair a rest from getting pressed out because that might be it too. Um, so I'm gonna probably wear get my hair done this weekend, wear the cap. Um, I gotta get my make appointment for my nails to get done. I gotta purchase my tickets for the flower show. And Oh, I got this cute outfit I'm going to wear. So, y'all know I got all these clothes in my closet that I'll never be wearing. So, I don't know if y'all ever saw the blue coat. But I have this blue coat that I got from H&M, like, probably last year or the year before. Like, probably two years ago, I feel like I got it. I never wore it. I only wore it for my photo shoot. That's it. But, um, I'm going to... Oh, let me put my seatbelt on. Oh, I be forgetting. I know. I need to start putting it on before I leave the garage. I'm going to... I'm really going to try let me um but yeah so i was thinking about wearing my blue coat because i'm like i wanted to wear like pink or orange but then i'm like mm, it's still winter time you know so i'm like what's a pretty i, I didn't want to wear black but i wanted to wear a pretty color so i'm like oh i can wear that pretty blue so that's what i'm gonna wear it's gonna be super cute and I have these royal blue boots. They are thigh high boots. They come all the way up to my thigh. I got them from Zara probably five years ago, y'all. I swear. And um, I'm, I'm gonna turn this little clicker thing off because I know y'all don't want to hear it. But I'm thinking I'm gonna pair that royal blue with that like pretty blue. I think it's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna look cute. I don't know until I actually get dressed. But that's gonna be so. I feel like Sunday vlog is gonna be such. A fun vlog the kids are going on their spring dance i'm going to the flower show so it's definitely going to be a vibe next video this video is just basically a weekly vlog work me working and doing boring stuff mom life but i guess i'll talk to you guys when i get home from the gym today i got my little gym clothes with me the crazy part is <clears throat> I'm still losing weight and I don't want to lose weight. I'm just trying to tone my butt. But every time I feel like my butt get toned, I'm losing more weight. I'm like, I'm never going to be able to have a butt if I keep losing weight. <laughs> so my husband was like, I'm not eating enough. But the thing is, y'all know I do intermittent fasting. And when you do intermittent fasting, I promise you, it shrinks your stomach. Like, I don't, I only eat a little bit of food. I don't eat a lot. So... I'm like whatever. I don't care. As long as I'm I'm fit, I don't. I could care less about a butt. As long as I got a little something. As long as I ain't like a pancake. As long as I got a little something, a little little something that my man can grab on. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I don't need to be looking like a video vixen. I don't need all that. But um, I did enough talking. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, just got off from work. How are you? Um. I'm actually about to stop at the donut shop. Let me know if you guys have a yum yum near you. I don't know if it's just on the East Coast. I don't know. But I'm about to stop and get the kids some donuts. Because I feel so bad that I like literally cut all the snacks out the kids. <laughs> but I have to. But it's okay because... They can have donuts today, and then they won't have any anything sweet until maybe the weekend. We can bake the little Lucky Charm cookies. But I got to do what I got to do. I got to have my kids be a little more healthier, okay? 
but anyway i'm gonna bring you guys along with me their jelly donuts is so good so the lady at my job brought them in last week chef's kiss so delicious so let's go get some donuts donuts okay. hello how are you, <laughs> how are you? two jelly you know how many total you're getting? Probably, how many it comes with? 12? For a box, you can get six or 12. 12 is a lot. Let me just get six. Um, two jelly. And four glaze. And then one apple fritter. Thank you. Apple fritter looks so good. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm home. About to cook dinner real quick. Whew. And um I wanna watch this series. It's called Mom, what's the name of that series? Blood and water. Blood and water. So I'm about to cook. I gotta get some new pots, y'all. Ace that. Like, I really gotta get some new pots. Alright, let me cook this spaghetti. Tune in to watch my movie. We'll take a shower and then tune in to watch my movie. I didn't go to the gym today because I forgot to bring some shoes. I had my platform shoes on, so I can't go to the gym. But it's fine, whatever. Um, but let me cook real quick, y'all, because it's already so late. So the life of a mom. I need to hire a chef. I wish I was rich so I could hire a chef. <laughs> and I'm hoping that you sing my song, my song. Get that first song. Friday, she is a beauty. Too old. I'm too old for this. Y'all know I don't even drink, so y'all know I hate a rough day. My surfboard, shit happened, oh baby. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'ma scare my mom. <laughs> we about to prank. We about to play a prank on Shula. So she just finishing up cooking for me because I said I had to go to the bathroom. So I found this little scary thing, a scary voice on TikTok. And the speaker, you know, the speakers is downstairs. <laughs> and I'm going to see what she's saying. Where's Penny? Look at Penny. She's scared. Penny. Where you at, sis? We don't see you, sis. Woo, that's a bright light. <laughs> Say I nice and clean. Mm. And mama ain't even hug her yet. Hey, stop going. <laughs> Can you find me? Can you find your mother? I'm here. <laughs> Behind you, you look. <laughs> Behind you. <laughs> I'm behind you. You need to get in front of me, girl. You can have the wrong damn person. You don't know you better with. You can't be behind me. You can't be behind a damn Hello? phone. You better stay in front of me, Mr. Watson. Don't get me. Hey guys, good morning. Give you a quick outfit of the day. Hold on. All right, I just got these Hunter rain boots on because y'all know it is raining. Well, y'all don't know, but it's pouring outside. Um, I just have on my spank tights that um, a lot of you guys were asking about. These are from Target. I forgot the exact name, but I'll make sure I'll link them in the description box if they still have them. I just have on this bodysuit and then just this little sweater that's it this is all i'm wearing to work um but yeah something simple but cute but um i need to come on penny okay but yeah i need to pack my lunch i'm gonna have spaghetti french i didn't I only ate a little bit last night oh my goodness those donuts from yum yum oh my god 
if you have a yum yum near you you have to get you some the jelly donut is so delicious the apple fritter so delicious the glazed donut is so delicious they have so many different kinds i gotta get get ready to get out of here um a lot of you were telling me to do therabreath i tried therabreath listerine i mean therabreath mouthwash before i did like it i can go back to it i can um definitely go back to it and then a lot of you were telling me about someone making cheeses so i'm going to try that with the kids but i just want to say thank you guys so much for just in the last video just giving knowledge to all of us because there's a lot of people who's interested in living a healthier lifestyle even from the deodorant we use to the toothpaste like colgate is not a good toothpaste um eventually i'm going to switch that out too but i don't want to just do all these changes so quick because that's how things never i feel like last when you just hurry up and do stuff so i want to slowly start doing stuff starting with the food and then we can start with the deodorant and the mouthwash and the lotion and all that it's gonna be a journey guys. it's gonna be a journey <laughs> what else i want to eat <coughs> do i want tea today do i want to make me some tea this refrigerator is horrible oh and then you guys were telling me about the almond milk so, thank you for that. I think I'm gonna drink some tea today. I haven't had any tea in a minute. Um, so, this will be that. And I'm gonna wash me some strawberries and grapes. You know I leave early when it's still a little dark outside. I wish. I didn't have to leave this early. Hold on, y'all. All right, guys. So I have these glass containers. I got them from Amazon. I will definitely show you guys. But um, it's better to keep your food in glass containers. So is your water. So something else that I have learned. Um, so I have my strawberries, grapes, my spaghetti, and then yogurt. That's all I'm going to eat today. You guys know I eat the yogurt with the granola. And... Um, that's all I'll have until dinner tonight. I'm not sure what I'm cooking. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I think I'm going to do tacos tonight. The kids want some tacos. <laughs> I'm going to eat my apple yesterday. But it's okay. I'm going to drink me some tea once I get to work. And that will hold me until lunch. Until I eat my yogurt and fruit. Okay, I know somebody was like, they can't see my face sometimes when I talk, but I'm like, girl, that's cause I be moving. I be moving, I'm sorry. Okay, so I showed you guys this before, but um, this is the, the tea that I drink. But yeah, I am about to head to work. I need one more water. of these because sometimes after i eat my lunch i'd be needing like something salty or sweet so i'll just take a couple of those so. and that's my lunch that's my lunch guys so we'll make tacos today i have to stop at the store when i get off after the gym dinner is going to be a little late tonight because after the gym i have to stop at the store and get some beef and then some cilantro because I want to make the rice with the tacos tonight. This will be a late night because Kyra has taekwondo. It's my life, guys, and I'm so grateful for it. Every time I get overwhelmed, I'm like, I had the privilege to do this. Some people is not able to do this. So I have the privilege. Um, so, yeah. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Oh, I almost forgot my gym shoes. See, I was about to get in the car. Almost forgot my sneakers. These didn't turn into the darn gym sneakers because they, they get so dick. <laughs> so I'm like, listen, they can be my gym sneakers. I'm going to get me maybe some more. I don't know. Oh, Lord.
lordy shoot my id i didn't have my id yesterday hold on well i just spent five minutes looking for my id and i cannot find it oh it might be in my gym bag hold on get my life together i'm serious yep it's in my gym bag jesus christ <coughs> pray for me pray for me i swear <laughs> oh my god oh child i swear i don't i don't i i can't even I ain't even gonna say it, what I was gonna say, but why can't I go back anymore? I'm about to call out today because I don't know what's going on, but like my car won't go back no more, and the emergency brake is not in. Look, what the hell? Oh my God, hold on y'all. What is going on today? I'm about to call out. When stuff like this happen, I usually call out of work, hold on. I can't be making this shit up y'all. Look at this, the kids done left a ball. That's why my car wouldn't go back. Help me today, help me. Myself. Uh, I'm having one of those days. <laughs> I'm literally having one of those days, y'all. And you know how you try to be positive, and it's just like, <laughs> it ain't it, sis. Today is not it to be positive. <laughs> I am a optimistic type of girl. I'm outgoing, I'm ambitious, but sometimes life be lifing. Like, seriously. Oh, God, this damn car and this thing. I'm going to just talk to y'all later because I'm just not, I'm just not starting my day off right. So I'm going to pray to God and then, <laughs> and then, um, we're going to do this again tomorrow. Well, no, you guys won't see it because I have to edit tonight's video. I have to edit this video. Well, anyway, at least you guys see the realistic of my life. It's not always peaches and cream. It's not always perfect. It's not... You know, some people act like their life is perfect, honey. This one lady at my job, girl, she had a nerve to tell me her marriage was perfect. I'm like, miss, ain't nobody marriage perfect. I ain't saying y'all gotta be arguing every day, but your marriage is not perfect. No one's married. No one's perfect, but Jesus. Or whoever y'all believe in. You know? Like people be trying to act like their life is perfect. Everybody go through things. Everybody have trials and tribulations, you know? Hold on. Can't have y'all looking at my sign in my street. <sighs> but yeah, everybody go through stuff. And I'm I'm a I'm an open book. You know, I keep some stuff private, of course, because you have to. I'm talking to, y'all know y'all my friends, but at the same time, it's a bunch of strangers. But it's like, my channel is here to help people know that it's, it's normal to go through things. Life is not perfect. How to balance being a mom, being a wife, balancing yourself, spending time with your friends, going out having fun, cooking, cleaning. My channel is all about the everyday woman life honestly and that's what i was looking for when i was on youtube i was looking for a woman like myself that 
show real life moments, show ups and downs, was working a nine to five, but still trying to work on their business, balancing life with being a wife and a mom, but cute, can dress fashionable, be having date nights with her man. And I couldn't find that person back in the day. I just couldn't. Everybody either had a cleaning channel or this, this. I'm like, mm, let me start my own channel. And I did, and this is where I am. So if you are on the fence of starting your channel, I'm telling you now, start your channel. Seriously, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be time consuming, but you will get you will get used to it. Editing sucks sometimes because it takes so long. YouTube sucks sometimes because it takes sometimes so long for it to upload, but it's not like that all the time. And once you learn how to edit, it's gonna be quick. Once you and if you don't if you don't know how to edit, you can pay for pay for someone to edit, but it's it, it's a little pricey. Did I actually look into that? Because I don't have the time. And just know that you're not going to grow overnight. I mean, some people do. Don't get me wrong. I haven't. I wish all the time. You know, I see these these influencers. They're going to Bora Bora, which I am so happy. I don't know why they're getting so much hate. I don't know. I don't even know who these girls are. But like when I go on TikTok, like to look for like different stuff for our Disney trip and different stuff. Um, y'all, you guys told me about the cheeses. Um, but everybody keep pop, it keep popping up. Oh, the influencers that went to Bora Bora for Tart. I'm like, who? I don't even know who the hell Tart is. One, two. All those influencers. I think the majority was like Caucasian women. I never even saw them or heard of them before. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Well, what's the, why are these women getting so much hate? I don't think people understand how much hard work it takes to be an influencer. I wish, I wish I could put my all into it because I know I could be above and beyond and go on brand trips and stuff. But I'm like, mm, do I want to go on a brand trip without my husband? <laughs> do I really want to go with myself? I don't know. I don't know. You know. Like, if Disney wanted to take my family... I, I wouldn't mind going on, like, family trips. But I don't know how I would feel going on a brand trip. And just me and, like, a bunch of ladies that I don't know. You know? I don't know. I can't speak on it because I haven't... That, that opportunity hasn't presented itself to me. So, at that time, if it does, then I could be like, Oh, you know what? This is a great opportunity. I'm going to go. So, I can't say that. But as of right now, I might be a little skeptical. Like, mm, you know? Because I really don't have any influencer friends, I feel like. Like, no content cre creator friends that we talk all the time and we're, like, in cahoots. I mean, I have people that were, like, I can talk. Well, why one person? One person. Shout out to LaVon. <laughs> um, but me and her, we, you know, when we first started YouTube, me and her clicked. But other than that, I mean... I don't really talk to too many content creators. I'm definitely I'm definitely interested in meeting other content creators, especially that's in my niche. Because I feel like you have the beauty girls, then you have the hair girls, and then you have the girls that's into their homes and have kids. Um, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I spend more time on YouTube. But right about now, y'all... I gotta get my life in order, seriously. Because with this working every day and then doing content on the weekends, I feel like I have no downtime. But I don't have no other way. I have no other way because if, if, if vlogging or being a content creator is something I really wanna do, then I have to spend the weekends on doing it. So I'm just, I'm just vitting a little bit to you guys just so you understand. Anything worth having, having in life is gonna be hard work. I'm just trying to figure out when my breakthrough coming, y'all. And I kind of document these little sessions because I feel like life will get better for me. I will be able to leave my job. I will be able to have my husband leave his job. Um, and I'm speaking into existence. I don't know when it's going to happen. Let me tell y'all. Y'all know how my husband used to work a lot of hours. He was always tired. Do you guys tell a difference? He's in my videos a little bit more and he's well rested. Let me tell y'all how I prayed to God. I prayed to God 
to allow my husband to get off that shift he was on. Okay? I prayed. I said, God, please allow my husband to get off the shift. Please. I've been praying for this, y'all. It wasn't it wasn't up to him to get off the shift, but the way his seniority is, he had someone had more seniority than him, so they were able to get his shift. When he told me that he had to get off that shift, I was so happy. So happy. And I'm telling you, prayer work, but for the life of me, I just cannot understand why. And I, and I don't judge God because I know his timing is his timing. But I'm like, God, I put so much work into my YouTube channel. I put so much work. I see channels. Yo, one day I just was watching people's channels. I swear to God. I'm like, how do this person have 200K subscribers? They Their videos was all over the place. There's no storyline. I'm like, how can people watch this crap? I'm telling you. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. But I'm going to keep pushing towards it. But I'm just like, God, why can't my channel just, like, I know people, I know a lot of moms that have kids and stuff will want to watch my channel. I know that. But I just feel like YouTube chooses, I don't know how they put put your videos, like, on the Explore page. Like, I don't know. I feel like once I'm found, my channel will go, like, rapid. But there's so many people on YouTube. YouTube is so oversaturated. <clears throat> and it's just I feel like it's hard to be found if I would have started my YouTube channel 10 years ago I'd have been good I would have been good I would have been good even if I would have started before that I always wanted to start YouTube but I let fear get the best of me and I never started it and then one day I said I'm going to do this I'm going to do it scared I'm going to do it alone I'm going to do it but anyway this is my little car chronicles. Maybe we can have little car chronicles on our weekly vlogs where we just chit chat and talk while I'm on my way to work. But let me focus on the road, guys. And I promise you, I will see you later. All right. Barely can see anything, y'all. Hi guys, I am home, went to the gym, then I had to stop at Wagman's to grab some food for tonight, because when I went to the market, of course, I, um, I'm trying to see where I can pop you guys up at, because I don't have my, but, um, but anyway, I got Penny's food, is this, I have Penny's food. What? What is wrong with the darn camera? Okay, I have Penny's food. I got two things of meat for tacos. What's going on? Um, a lot of you guys, thank you so much, but you guys said get the California Farms and do oat milk or the almond milk. So I definitely got that. Pick up some pineapples. Pick up some of these stuff. Olives, so good. Got some bananas. I want to try these. Let me know if you guys ever tried it, but these are like spinach um, linguine noodles. Got two packs of those. Some cheese for tonight. We got the kids. They came some cheese for school. So they can eat the grapes and the lime because I'm making some rice for our tacos. And then I went to Walmart and had to get some of, um, this is Dave's Killer Bread. Sometimes I just want a bagel. Lunch meat, my Hyla batteries, here you go, and some Thank you. cilantro. I'm going to cook these tacos real quick, and then I am about to watch Blood Water, I think it's called, my mom said. Her and Sam is watching it. I didn't watch it because I'm going to actually watch it while I edit the video. Here, my Hyla, you need to start putting up the rest of these dishes, girl. Um, Of course, Sam... Cut up the. Ooh. This is the cheese and the lettuce and tomatoes, but I already got fresh cheese, so I think I'm gonna use that. That cheese was old, I feel like. But um, and I'm gonna try these. I heard these are a healthier option than the other tortillas. But yeah, so I'll show you guys my tacos once I'm done. 
And then we are going to, I want to edit my video. So that's what we're going to do today. Oh, let me tell you about my day at work. Y'all know how my morning was a little crazy, but guess what? My day was really good, y'all. It really was. It was a good day. Um, work wasn't stressful today. I, I kind of like eat. My day was a little easy today. I guess God said, "Girl, let me, let me, let me allow you to have a nice, easy day." <laughs> you acting crazy this morning. Oh my goodness, this morning was a little bit much for me. Penny, what are you eating off the ground? Hmm? Let me see. I'm trying to hurry up, y'all. It is currently 7 o'clock, okay? Stopping at the store is putting me. Oh, this is so cute. How cute is this? This sits on my Hyla little vanity. So cute, Hyla. You need to clean it, though. Hey, come on, put the rest of this stuff up, please. All right. I'm about to put my music on and cook my dinner. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, food is done. And I'm about to edit this video. I will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye. I belong, I belong to you.